I am saying that we have to prepare ourselves to use any means necessary to seek our liberation, to seek our liberation from white domination. He was the voice for the voiceless. Dudley Laws. He had a very commanding and compelling presence. He would not just speak with vigor, but he would speak uh, from that emotive standpoint where people could really understand, feel what he was saying. Marlene is an image of what a revolutionary is to me. The way she moved in the world physically, it was larger than life. She saw black young people who were being discriminated, who were being picked up by the police, who were just not doing well in school, who had no options open to them. All of those things she saw and she said, you know, this has got to change. Far to the southeast of our country, across the Atlantic Ocean, is the homeland of the Negroes. Their noses are flat and their lips thick. Their hair is woolly instead of being straight or curly like ours. Well, the hunger for Third World Bookstore and, and, and for the the example set by Gwen and Lenny Johnson was, um, it was inspirational. It was a safe space, almost like it was our, our Canada, our Underground Railroad. That's where the Underground Subway took us to. The whole third world philosophy, that's why they named it the Third World Bookstore. Charles Roach coming together with Dudley Laws, Sharona Hall, and Lennox Farrell. And they had a very powerful message to bring and they were effective in their community organizing and they created space for the organization I currently work for, the African Canadian Legal Clinic, to do the work that it does on systemic anti-black racism. Black, 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 black. Currently when we're looking at uh, the Black Lives Matter movement, the ways in which that movement is fueled by young people uh, doing a lot of strategic mobilization and advocacy on the ground in much the same ways that we saw Batsy doing. Black lives matter. Black lives matter. To tell the story of new immigrants in new lands is to remember a frightening feeling of being trapped in an old world that's washed away and a new world that hesitates to welcome you, to fight or not to fight. What do you accept and at what point do you rebel? She's really being deported because she's black. And I am a good mother. And as you can see from my three children, I'm a single parent. And I'm a hard working woman and a hard fighter. And I'll fight on and I won't leave my kids behind. They're throwing out uh, immigrants who are permanent residents here now. Great job, you see, the fight is not an individual fight. In other words, the assassination of, of Malcolm X or Martin Luther King. Uh, did not end the black struggle. Indeed, it took it to a higher level. So that my own involvement is an involvement which stands around certain basic principles for social change, for better life, for working people. And as long as those, as long as they are workers, those objectives will always remain. So whether I'm alive or dead is really irrelevant. <laughs> <laughs>